Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Baumeister. Today I'm talking to my buddy. We go back 20 some years, but he was the guy who started Frank's Dinner Theater. That's right, Mr. Joe Kittinger. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay. Joe Kittinger, how are you? I'm doing awesome, dude. Joe, we started a theater. Actually, you really put it all together, but we started this 20 years ago. Isn't that nuts? We did. It was definitely your idea. Yeah, but you did all every, You did everything. I did do everything in the <laughs> beginning, uh, but it was your idea, and I said, great idea. Uh, restaurants and theaters are the number one and two businesses that fail in America. Let's do both. Let's a do dinner theater. No. Who, who thought it would... You know, didn't we do it just because we like to like have fun? We, we drank did. a lot more back we, then. We, we did. We did. We, we, we did don't anymore. Then. We did it to have fun. Yeah. You did it to expand the the bar that yeah. you ran. Yep. Um, and of course, that was our passion. That's what yeah. we love to do. Now I throw this Frank's Dinner Theater first of all. The first show was called The Temp, and you went and bought that show. Um, and how did you find that? Remember, uh, you had you had a friend association. Yeah, yeah. one of my dear friends from uh, college. Her name is Molly Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, she had a brother, Brian. Yeah. And. Um, we saw his show in Minneapolis, and I was like, wow, what a cute little show. So when you said, hey, uh, we're starting a theater. I want you to direct it and find the talent and like, come up with a show and be in it. And I'll I was just have like, the place. Yeah, you have the place. I'm like, cool. And you said, I'll have the band if yeah. there needs one. Yeah. Um, well, that was, that was a show I saw that could fit on an 8-foot by 12-foot stage. From St. Norbert College. It was 12 we by 8 or something yes. of this yeah. nature. So all of a sudden, we do this show, Joe. Uh, the temp and we say hey wow seven nights kind of sold out we each made like 50 bucks and we're like <laughs> let's write our own show what what how did we come up with that Please I'll, refresh I'll, I'll my never memory. forget that it was okay you looked at me and said now what are you gonna do oh, is that what I did? <laughs> and um we had uh and i'm like well we can't do oklahoma that yeah. requires 40 people in a huge <laughs> space and i'm thinking all these i don't know how to do all those small shows and i sat with you in desperation going frank I don't know what to do next, to be quite honest with you. And you, and then you took charge and said, I have a band that plays a lot of 70s music yeah. called Third and Third Short. And Short, yeah. Larry and Third you Short. said, I'll write down all the songs our band knows <laughs> and let's brainstorm it. I got you performing in the show <laughs> again. And it's this weekend. You're going to be Thursday and Friday performing two songs in the show. And one of those nights is a benefit. Let's talk about that benefit on yeah, Thursday thank night. You. Yeah, thank the Thursday, you. October, what is it? Third. Third. Thursday, October yeah. 3rd. October 3rd, um, my uh, wife and I, along with another couple, are chairing a major event at Tapir High School. It is for, uh, it's called Let's Jam Destination Tapir. It's going to be at Tapir High School. It's a huge competition for show choir. Yeah. And the dollars that it generates benefits the entire vocal music program okay. at Tapir High School. It's a first. Um, of its kind in, in, in our area. We, this is a competition show choir group and we've traveled to compete, but we want to host it. Yeah. And uh, we believe that if we do a good enough job and get the support we need, that, that major event can support the entire year of the entire vocal program. So join us Thursday, October 3rd. Mr. Joe Kinninger will be performing in the show and the proceeds benefit what? Let's Jam Destination De Pier, which is De Pier High School's uh, vocal music program all right frank fontaine's bandstand usa sitting next to the co-founder right now we still look the same don't we we do we haven't Joe? changed at all okay. hey join us next week as we bring you another creative person from northeastern wisconsin yeah.